Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling. Guys, I wanted to just come on here today and talk to you about spring, okay? So, some of the things that I like to do with my clothes to keep them like in good condition. So, I'm actually going to go through how I keep my clothes in good condition, things that do not cost as much as others that I've had for a really long time um, and more of my more expensive things and how I care for them. So <laughs> I wanted to do this video because I know a lot of women, you guys know I'm a style coach and when I do like closet edits and stuff, even if it's virtual, I can tell if someone is caring for their clothes the proper way, um, which leads them to not spending as much because they're caring for it properly or pretty much not taking care of their stuff and having to replace the stuff over and over. So I wanted to do a quick little video just for the girls who kind of struggle with making the decision to put their things in like a tailor or a, clean, a dry cleaners and things like that. So if I'm slurring guys, you guys know I got these Invisalign on and it's like a struggle. So. Let's talk about clothes that are fast fashion. I'm not really big on fast fashion. Um, Zara, to me, is like in the middle. They are also a hit or miss. Now, when you are shopping from Zara and you are purchasing blazers that are in the price range of like $149, I believe that's the price, $149.90, those are really, really good quality, guys. Blazers like that from Zara, you want to put those in the dry cleaner because you want to make sure that you have them for a while. $149 to you may be cheap, but it may be expensive for somebody else. Now, as a person, as a woman who has blazers that cost low range to super high, I treat them all the same. And the reason why is because even my low, lower price ones are a really good quality and if i can limit the amount of times i actually wash it in the washing machine i'll take it to the dry cleaners now we'll get into picking the dry uh, uh cleaners um later so what i do is for those things my blazers i definitely take those to the dry cleaners i always take them there guys i never wash my blazers listen you'd be surprised how many women wash their blazers? It's, uh, maybe unless it's like denim, but I still, I still wouldn't even do it to be quite honest. So fast fashion stuff, if it's a really good quality, and again, it's really hard to find really good quality with fast fashion, but if you do and you wanna hold on to it, yes. Now, brands, higher end brands, I would always recommend and this may be tedious for some, read those labels, guys. I did a whole Instagram post about caring for your clothes and it's probably one of my best performing posts and that's because a lot of people really don't do the right things. They don't read those labels. Those little squiggly lines and a little iron and things like that, that's telling you how to treat, care for your clothes. Um, I know people who just say they don't care that's gonna wash it, right? But they always end up having to buy stuff over and over. So that's kind of like a waste of money. So read those tags inside of your clothes. And I'm trying to think, do I have anything near me? But I'm probably popping something so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Read the quality of the, um, the material of the clothing that you are purchasing or are going to actually like take to a, a cleaner everything does not need to go to a dry cleaner so you have to think about that as well so for me to make sure that i keep my clothes for a long time i do not buy things that are super super core in quality otherwise i'm going to be buying it over and over now it doesn't mean that i don't have anything in here that's poor quality well i'm not gonna say poor quality, not the best quality but I've actually had it for a really long time and that's because I really take care of it. Um, I don't even have an example. Uh, I don't have an example right now, but 
some stuff is not super expensive and it's not the best quality but I've had it for a while, a, a long time. But that, like I said, that's just because the way I'm caring for my stuff. Um, another thing you wanna do is make sure that you are ready to invest in doing this, right? Because it's it's an added bill to your, to your bills. <laughs> uh, if you've never taken anything to the dry cleaners, listen, you have to do it. And I'm looking at my stuff in the back over here and over here. I just got them back and I had about 18 pieces that's a lot I think it was like 18 that's quite a lot of pieces um because typically like jeans and stuff depending on them I won't take them there I'll wash them on like cool and stuff but my sweaters my expensive sweaters sweaters from Zara um my white button-up shirts those guys listen if you don't take anything else to dry clean it, take your white button-up shirts. Because let me tell you something, they will get those things super right, okay? I don't know what type of solution they're using, but I definitely love taking my white button-ups. So I have a slew of stuff. I take my trousers there. Um, and the, the guy that I go to now, I'm gonna get into him and the previous people that I used to go to. The guy that I go to now, hes they're really good. I like them a lot. Um, I haven't had any issues yet. So let's get into what to look for when you are looking for a dry cleaner, right? Um, and why, like I said, I take them there to have longevity in my clothes, so I am not buying something over and over and over. Yes. So the first dry cleaners that I used to go to, they were okay. Uh, I really liked the lady, she was really, really nice, and they were just okay. Now here's where it took a turn. One day I went to go pick up my stuff and I said to her, I wore this outside all day. So you guys know, I don't care what nas what race you are, <laughs> I don't care. I don't care what your background is. You know what the outside smell is like. Some people say it smells like pennies. Black people be like, you smell like outside, okay? The outfit, that I had on was not dirty. It wasn't dirty at all. I was outside all day in the street, but at like a like a festival or something, right? Now I wasn't sweater or anything, but I was outside. When I got the items back, I never opened the package because you know they put it in a little plastic until one night I was going to the restroom middle of the night and I smelled the smell of outside. I go to my stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, they didn't clean my stuff. So what they did was they just ironed it or whatever the heck they did um, because they didn't see any stains. So it was a turn off for me and I started to look for another dry cleaner and I found one. The new guy on the other hand, they're, they're good. They haven't messed up yet, <laughs> but they're good. So as of now, I found a really good place. Um, they do pretty much everything. I've seen comforters, of course. Something I saw the other day that was like super odd. I saw Kurt drapery. Um, it was something else that was like, just threw me off a bit. But he basically said that he does, a, he does everything. So they listen to my needs. Nothing has been shrunken yet. Um, nothing has been damaged, not going wood, whatever the wood is that. Uh, but I like him. They're, I don't think they actually, they're actually cheaper than the other place and they're better in my opinion. So little things like that I look for like, how much are they charging? Are they genuinely cleaning my stuff? Um, a lot of dry cleaners now are now going green. So you most likely, hmm. sorry guys, <laughs> you most likely won't won't smell like a solution. Um, maybe a slight one, but if they're going green, you probably won't smell anything. So my reason for taking things to the dry cleaners is to basically just keep my clothes for a long time. We are in the era of buying stuff over, like just buying things, just like they go out of style, we buy something new. For certain pieces, you wanna always invest in even caring for them. Reading those labels, buying certain detergent, 
Um, even like when you wash your towels, right? When you wash your towels, for, for me, I have all white towels in washcloths and I use baking soda and vinegar, okay? And when I tell you my towels are like A1, okay? Just saying. Um, but I make sure that I always buy the baking soda and the vinegar for that. And it's just something that I do and I'm, I'm always gonna do it. So it's the same with my clothing. If something I feel needs to go to the dry cleaners, that's why I'm gonna take it after I read those labels to make sure that I actually can take it there. Because again, everything is not necessarily meant for the dry cleaners. <laughs> so make sure you are looking into that. So that is what I wanted to talk to you guys about, taking care of your clothes and why it's a good idea to always invest in caring for your clothes because otherwise you'll just be wasting money now if you are that girl who just wants to waste money all day then by all means just put them in a the washing machine but if you are that lady who's getting older and you just well i don't even want to say older if you're just at the point where you just want to care for your clothes the proper way and have them for a long time regardless of if they are fast fashion or not um, start looking into investing in a dry cleaners and finding a really good one. You're gonna have to try multiple out because they are not all created equally and we know this. So for me, it took me two people to figure it out and I was good. So it's almost like your nails, guys. You go get, get your nails done, they do a terrible job, you don't like them, you go somewhere else, right? Um, so yeah, so that is what I wanted to talk to you guys about. If you have any questions on that, um, I can definitely, do another video on it and some things some other things that I do but it is an investment guys when you are finding a tailor and a dry cleaner so for me you guys know I always talk about tailoring as a six foot tall girl I can't just go in the store and say let me get let me grab that shirts possibly I can most of the time with shirts I can but when it comes to skirts and pants and jeans it's a no-go for me so I know that it's something that I have to do so I never get frustrated when I have to take something to the tailor but anyway guys so that was just a quick little chat about you know taking care of your clothes whether it's fast fashion or really high-end um, actually let's get into bags and shoes really quick yes let's do that when it comes to my bags <clears throat> I always keep them inside of my casing Prior to moving everything into this closet, I used to have them in my other closet, but they were the same way. Prior to that, when I didn't have the pack system and the Billy bookshelves, I would just keep them in the bag. Like I never just had them out. Now that they're inside of here, I still feel like it still gets a little bit dusty. So I'll go in, wipe them down, make sure that they're good. And the same with my shoes, guys. It's just a cleaning day. And I'm probably going to do a video because I need to clean my closet and just move some stuff around. But I go in there and I wipe them down because they're sitting in there and it still does attract some dust. You want to clean off the shelves and things. And I also put my things back. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, you have OCD. And I'm like, it's, I don't think it's that. I just think that everything has a place and I like to put it back in its place especially if I came from outside or a party, not even a party, if I came from out. I wanna put my shoes in my bags back, put the things I need to go in the hamper in the hamper, and put the things to the side I need to actually go to the dry cleaner. So that's things that I do with my belongings here. My glasses, I go through that case over there as well. Dust those off because again, there's dust everywhere and we can't help it, right? I go on top of my Billy bookshelves, I dust that off. Most of my, well, all of my hats are actually inside of a bag from lack of color or some sort of bag. <laughs> and that's what I do. I keep them in there. So that's something that I do, guys. I think it's a really good idea if you are spending your hard earned money on clothing, take care of it. Wipe the stuff down. If you ha actually, I don't know if you guys can see right here <laughs> that one bag is inside of a bag because that is my white monster Gabrielle bag and I do not want it to get messed up 
so I leave that one in there and I was gonna leave my pumps in there but those are fine so I just get creative with what I have in my wardrobe and I would recommend you guys doing the same so that you're not messing up your things and being frustrated later on and to be quite honest guys you actually still want to like look at your shoes and stuff every few months because some of these designers guys they be making crappy shoes and then before you know it like the sole is eating away like and you end up breaking a heel outside because you didn't know that the glue wasn't sticking anymore like it's just so many things so it's just a good idea to kind of like go through your stuff look at the stuff examine it make sure it's still in good tact and good shape and then that's it so it's something quick that you can do just to like take a weekend and do it guys like you don't want to it doesn't need to take a whole day but you still want to look at your stuff to make sure that it's still in really really good condition for you to wear so listen guys i will catch you guys in the next one if you like videos like this please comment below and if you stay to the end of this video please comment coco we see you and guys don't forget to follow me on instagram at coco styles nyc and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog CocoStylesNYC.com and Coco Styles NY and guys I'm on tickety tickety talk uh, Coco Styles NYC and I will catch you guys in the next one I'll pop in a photo of what I'm wearing today kind of chill the weather is like all over the place so I do have on a pair of uh, what do you call these like snakeskin Sam Edelman pumps some gap jeans some barrel gap jeans and a cami from Vince. I love Vince, guys. An old Zara longline blazer. And I wore my Monta Gabrielle bag and my key glasses. So kept it kind of simple today. Um, very chill. Pumps are my girls. I love pumps, guys. Because I got some big old feet. So they look really, really good on my feet. But anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.